A'udzu billahi minasy syaithanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi washabbihi ajmain. Qul subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul 'uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. So uh, very good morning, salam sejahtera, salam sayyidil ayam. Uh, so all are the viewers, all of our viewers from uh, the Office of Industry Link uh, YouTube channel. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to our channel because we will provide you with a lot more information about uh, a lot of things uh, in this walk of life, of course, inshallah. So for today, alhamdulillah, we are very fortunate that we have a very special guest. Uh, which will talk about uh, food forest. Wow, food and forest. <laughs> uh, right, so then, uh, yeah, you can find fo uh, food in the forest, but then uh, a food forest, and then uh, the topic says that creating your own food forest. Wow, okay, so this is uh, something that is interesting for us to, you know, uh, dis uh, you know, investigate, and we would like the speaker for today uh, to enlighten us on this uh, very uh, interesting topic. So uh, today uh, we have, oh, before that, uh, my name is Kairul Azami Sidek. I'm the Deputy Director of Office of Industrial Link, and you are watching the IIUM, uh, IIUM Industrial Webinar 2021, inshallah. So today, without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the speaker, uh, Mr. Abdul Raza Aziz. Assalamualaikum, Tia Raza. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih uh, ni Prof uh, Hairul. It's, uh, it's always good to to meet up uh, even though tak boleh jalan-jalan uh, kena ban so yes. kita jumpa Alamaya dulu. Yes, yes. Mr. Raza is very energetic, dynamic. He moves here and there. You know, I meet him a lot as, you know before COVID, right? Uh, in Bentong, in uh, a lot of places of course. So he's, he's not new to us and insyaAllah hopefully that the knowledge that you will share today would benefit a lot of people inshallah inshallah inshallah, eh? inshallah, inshallah. So, all right so the topic for today is about uh, if uh, you've written you've uh, uh, or no you the viewers have read the top the title of the youtube link here it's uh, creating your own food forest so we would like to know more and if you have questions of course uh, uh, do not uh, hesitate to ask it in the uh, chat box okay of the youtube channel okay in the chat box of the youtube channel you can ask questions at any time during the session and i will forward it to i will display it on the screen for uh, mr raza to answer it inshallah raza eh? inshallah. okay inshallah. so without further ado i would like to uh, pass the baton to mr raza to you know to conduct this session uh, uh, with the title creating your own Food for us. Please. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, ni, uh, Morita and a good friend, uh, Professor Khairul. Uh, like Prof kata kita ni uh, selalu jumpa kiri kanan atau bawah uh, mengantau. Uh, memang kita ni dua macam uh, sama lah seiring. Uh, kaki tak boleh duduk diam, kena masuk hutan juga. So <laughs> kali ni tak dapat masuk hutan uh, fizikal, kita masuk hutan alamaya. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> but uh, okay. yeah, so uh, thank you very much for inviting uh, me and uh, the rest of the team. When I say the rest of the team, we we actually uh, represent the community of people who have somewhat another uh, saw the opportunity to exercise this particular concept in their respective farms, houses, properties, and so on and so forth. So alhamdulillah, today we meet up. So Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Uh, uh, what we are about to share with you is something which uh, most of us in terms of our, our uh, network of, and circle of friends are passionate about uh, and it boils down to how do we make uh, our own healthy and nutritious food. Yeah? That's the basis of it. And um, I guess uh, for audiences punya uh, reference point, we were we were planning for this for a long time, almost uh, a year and a half already. How do we take it to the next level of what we have, what I have here in our farm, with my, my, my family farm, uh, what uh, our other associates and friends and collaborators, including those who run their own farms in 
even remote places of Malaysia, how do how do we take this uh, energy and this information and this uh, so-called uh, regenerative approaches to the next level? So we've been talking to IUM, Alhamdulillah, thank you, and we've been collaborating for a year. And since dah tak boleh datang buat uh, ni, a, 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 a visual and physical uh, tour. So Alhamdulillah today we managed juga gagah-gagah buat a virtual um, uh, approach to it. Yeah? In hope that uh, my intention at the end of this session, at least if I'm new to it, I see oh, kalau dia boleh buat, apa salahnya I boleh, tak boleh buat. Yeah? Uh, so that's one. Yeah? Dua, if I'm not new, uh, so called I've planted this and that. Oh, kalau dia boleh buat macam tu and still tak payah penat-penat badan buat, uh, uh, you know, uh, gunakan racun, prosak, perangga dan sebagainya, why can't I do the natural way so that I limit my activity and my effort in producing the better amount of uh, produce, yeah? Uh, tiga, if I'm expert, katalah I am a farmer, yeah? Uh, who plants uh, acres acres of land and blah 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 and I'm quite sure if you are typically that kind of of, of uh, farming uh, uh, individual or organization you will probably be succumbing to uh, some some form of uh, boosting your produce via through chemicals via through stuff that are degrading the world and degrading the land and it gets into our body systems and etc so how do you for me i use the word conversion how do you how do one understand this and apply the basic principles of what nature can teach us in hope that as a farmer that practices traditional farming i can apply some of these principles yeah uh, so my 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 angle is always about sharing what we have done for the last um 16, 17 years uh, of what we learn and we hope that this is something worth uh, sharing with uh, everyone uh, for from both personal and and uh, non-personal. Eh? Personal, uh, me, my wife and my family uh, and my uh, immediate families as in my brothers, sisters and brothers-in-law and whatnot, we enjoy good food and we enjoy healthier living and so on and so on. So for us, it is always um, uh, 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 another reward that we get based on what we do. We are in control. Yeah? Uh, the other aspect is um, uh, we've enjoyed so much over the years uh, when we decided to diversify from being a designer-based organization to applying the principles of nature and what it can uh, entice into the things that we do, including design for that matter. Uh, but that's another session later. Uh, but um, uh, we enjoy it so much and I think everyone should understand um, they can do it. So, kalau boleh, let me jump into it. Um, I will probably do the session tiga, empat, sorry, empat uh, component. Uh, one is, uh, I will share with you um, um, uh, our guru, Jeff Lawton. Uh, and he's, he's our Sifu and our uh, CD. Uh, he's, he's been here in Malaysia a couple of times. He has started the ball rolling with um, a few good, really good and practicing students in, in Malaysia as a whole. So uh, that permaculture movement has started many, many years ago. Eh? Uh, so that's one. I'll share with you what Jeff Lawton has to say about uh, food for us uh, for, again, a uh, couple of reasons. One is he's, he's, he's our guru our so-called upline, eh? and he's done it for many, many years, uh, Zatuna Farm in Australia. And we subscribe to it because we see his intention, uh, his pure intention of changing the world through just simple methodologies of learning from nature. So we, we it's easy for people like you and me not, not subscribe to such a, a movement. Yeah? Uh, so we'll share with you a short clip of Jeff Lawton. Uh, his graphics and his way of explanation is excellent. You know, uh, he does it for teaching tools and whatnot. So A is color you like what you see from Jeff Lawton, subscribe to his programs and whatnot, or at least check the YouTubes and, and um, uh, internet uh, references. He has tons and tons of uh, information that he has, has shared with uh, everyone. Yeah, So I'll do that. And then hopefully comes to, to the bit where we have wanted to share what we have been doing in our own uh, backyard, so to speak. Uh, since Malaysia actually muted many, many years ago, um, even when we were focusing on design, yeah? uh, we, we have been practicing design and we still do design. However, we saw a lot of uh, problems and 
opportunities to actually apply some of the basic principles of uh, sustainability towards design. And eventually, when we decided to look at farming, we saw that hitting us straight in the face. Kenapa I kena ikut orang buat uh, ladang kambing, ikut macam dia orang buat. And that tantamounts to damaging the world. So we shifted a lot yeah, from from traditional approaches. And fast forward today, Alhamdulillah, we took over this um, this property, uh, arwah my parents punya rumah di Kelang. It's uh, not too big, not too small. It's three quarter of an acre. So it's about 38,000 square feet yang ditinggalkan, uh, I think, a good five years when we took them, we took our el- uh, ni, elderly parents uh, to stay with each of our siblings. Macam macam uh, ni lah uh, prof kan you have your parents with you alhamdulillah uh, a, a good blessing there and uh, when we did that we didn't know what to do with the property eh? uh, meaning it, it's it's too big for us as in me uh, and my wife because we stay in a small usa house of about 40 feet by 60 feet and we we are so used to it for the last 20 odd years eh? and, and we, we produce food uh, so when we took over we saw that we need to do something that uh, allows to benefit everyone including the the environment uh, and the earth and whatnot so the, the the property was a little bit degraded in the sense of nothing grew because the, the soil is clay and water le- water table is very high tanam aja 2 3 bulan mati bila akar tunjang kena air dan sebagainya it's only about 300 meters uh, plus minus to sungai kelang which is which is just across you know uh, the property so for 40 odd years, I observe when my arwah parents wanted to plant something, tanam-tanam tak hidup, tanam-tanam tak hidup. So when we took over, uh, obviously, food forest came into mind. Yeah? Uh, for obvious reasons. Okay, kalau kita boleh buat food forest, apa salahnya? After all, uh, my late parents have always wanted to have that uh, food forest. So we started uh, playing around with principles and then we got it. And then eventually we learn. So here we're going to share with you what we have done over the years. It's only about uh, four, uh, less than four years actually. We started July 2017, 2018, uh, January, February before Chinese New Year. We planted most of the trees in, in the food forest. Uh, then eventually it grew to what it is after so I'm going to share with you. But enough uh, with, with Sits Malaysia. I'm going to share with you uh, Jeff Latton dulu. Uh, hi Betty Hui. Hi, hi. Uh, good to see you. Uh, ramai kawan uh, join kita ni. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Uh, Prof, ada, kita boleh tahu berapa orang yang join? Ada ada nampak mana? Uh, for the timing, it's uh, 59 here online. Online. Oh, so, it's increasing. It's increasing. Bertambah stress ni. Ramai lagi kawan lah. Kan banyak kata kawan. What is important, Cik Razak, because uh, you're going to actually share your own food forest. It's not other yes, people's yes. food forest. That that's what is interesting, you know. Okay, please, yes, please, Razak. Right. Yes, okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, so, before I share the the the, the food forest, though, I'll share with you um, um, Jeff Lotten dulu. It's only about seven and a half minutes. Let me see, yeah. Uh, the majority of the elements in that yeah, system. Yeah, sorry. Okay. He explains it very well. So here we go. I'll come back at uh, about seven, eight minutes. Enjoy. What is a food forest? Uh, well, Razak, could you share the screen first? Uh, could you... Forest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, share the screen. Uh, in. Uh... Share. Oh. oh, sorry. I thought I'd yeah. share. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Because uh, yeah. people are increasing the number here and you are stressful now. Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> right. Wow. Okay. I better don't the, ask anymore. There are people share, apa, sending you messages here. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, welcome salam bagi siapa yang I kenal yang yang tu. Uh, let's, I, I prefer not to go into who is uh, uh, ni. Tengok sekarang nanti I stress. Eh? Okay. 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 okay <laughs> Tapi please, seronok. Please, kalau, please, kalau kawan banyak, seronok. 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 Yes. Uh, seronok. Exactly. Don't tengok. I, I temerangan cerita right, okay. sama-sama ni. Okay. Okay. And then All right. this food forest. This okay. one. Okay. What is a food forest? Okay. Well, we're all quite familiar with forests and forests as an ecosystem with great diversity of plants, animals and fungi all harmonizing together and interreacting in many, many niches and layers designed by nature, maintained as a system in perfect balance. Well, imagine that. 
as a system that produces food. The majority of the elements in that system being productive. That's a food forest. So by understanding how nature designs forest systems so they're self-maintaining, self-replicating, we can model that system with productive species so that we can produce food in the most sustainable way with the minimum amount of input for the maximum amount of output anywhere in the world. That's a food forest system that we can actually design and work with in long-term and permanent situations. All forests have layers. So you start off with a canopy layer. That's the top of the forest. Then you have understory layers. And under those, you have bush and shrub layers going down to herbaceous layers, which are non-woody plants. And then you have a root yield. You have plants that actually have large, starchy roots. And then on the ground, you have ground covers. And you also have a vertical layer of climbers. Now, all forests have those layers. In the tropics, you can have emergent palms and understory palms, and you can have slight variations in different climates, but you have a basic set of layers that occupy all the space. When we design a food forest, we put that layering system into action to our benefit for production and maintenance through function. Here in the subtropics, you have tamarillo as an understory, and you have taro and cocoa yam and cassava as a root yield. That changes from climate to climate. Then you have understory productive trees like fijoa, guava, and citrus, and large herbs like bananas. And then you have support species like the ice cream bean and the tipuana tipu and casuarina. They're large trees, but they continue to support the forest by cycling nutrient. You also have understory nitrogen fixes like the acacias and the leucina and the cassia and albizia species. They're all really good, fast functioning, fast carbon pathways that fix nitrogen and can be chopped to the ground for mulch as the space that they're occupying can be taken up by the productive species. Here we have rose apples, mulberry, we have large legume trees, and we have large fruit trees. So we have jackfruit, the largest fruit in the world. We have bunya pine, a very large nut, but we also have pecan, which is a nut tree here that's also deciduous, loses its leaves in winter. Then we have your classic mango as a large overstory tree. These are all space occupiers in a system that's incredibly stable when all the layers are complete and occupied. We can plant food for us by planting support species at the same time as the fruit trees and managing the support species to shelter and boost the productive species. Or we can just plant the pioneer support species until we get a stable canopy. But we don't want to go the other way around. We don't want to start with a productive species and work hard with lots of inputs to keep them in a healthy state. The support species do the work for us. It can be up to 95% of the mass in the early years are the legume trees and the mulch producing trees that produce the biomass. We prune these and these trees shed nitrogen to the soil because they have relationships. They're classic pioneers. And most are nitrogen fixing species. In other words, they have rhizobium bacterial partners in the soil that take nitrogen from the air in the soil and bring it into their plant bodies and they then eventually die and that nitrogen is added to the soil. Now we can speed that process up. 
we can sacrifice those species with good timing after we put them into relative placement. So over time, the species we sacrifice open up opportunities for our productive species. They shelter and support and provide the fertilizer, the soil conditioning, and the humus. So we stack the system in space, but we prune in relation to time. So we wait for the time of year when there is more rainfall than evaporation. After the period where it's been dry and the evaporation is higher than rainfall, there we need shade and we leave the shade up. But as soon as the rainfall gets heavier and higher than the evaporation, we can start to cut and open up light avenues and space for our productive species to take up the gap. Now, over time, when we get to establishment, we've got less and less mass in pioneer support species and more and more mass in the productive species. And we end up with a reversal of mass. We have 95% productive and only 5% in support. So we don't just stack in space, we stack in time and we speed up the process. These legume support trees that have been cut off as pollards may look a bit harsh, but they very quickly start to regrow. You can see here little shoots coming everywhere and they're all the same. With the regrowth, we get a beautiful shade. Now that's handy in the hot time of year when we've got a lot of evaporation over rainfall. And it's actually a nurse crop for your fruit trees when they're young. Later on, we may cut them more regularly and keep feeding the soil. And eventually we may cut them out at a lower cut. They'll shoot a few more times. We'll keep adding that mulch and eventually we'll cut them at ground level and not allow them to grow leaves. So they actually die out. It's our choice. We're actually manipulating the forest so that it grows in our favor towards productive species. We change the way it grows in our favor. So here you see the pollard regrowth. And in just a few months in the subtropics, you can gain all this wood. Now it might be once a year in a temperate climate, once, once every six months, every three months in the tropics. You're working with the cycles of the forest within climate. So you're feeding the soil with a fallen forest and you're designing the way the forest falls. We can use animals to help us establish food forests. We can graze with larger animals, then they have to be out of the way because we're putting in the small plants. We can put in poultry, chickens and ducks, and they can prepare the ground. And then later on, when the trees are... Okay. Uh, Prof, boleh dengar? Prof? Boleh, boleh, boleh dengar? Okay. Uh, so, that's a short video. Uh, the uh, the is is about 13 minutes. Siapa yang nak uh, watch further, you can you can actually serve the internet. There's tons and tons like I say. Uh, but um, I hope with that short introduction of what food forest is, it gives us an idea of um, uh, what it is and how we can actually benefit. I hope uh, your pick uh, some points from that that short video. There's tons of, of points there, uh, but uh, not in any particular uh, um, uh, priority. Uh, it, it's all about creating a space of uh, diversity that allows the nature to take its own uh, form and course of action and all this benefits us in, in return. So technically, we work less by allowing nature to, to work for us. Yeah? Uh, it, it is all about balancing things up uh, by creating the bi uh, biodiversity, creating the opportunities for uh, the plants to function as what they should and uh, they could um, and so on and so forth. We are also talking about um, uh, uh, evolving our space into the so-called perfect uh, balance of biodiversity. Uh, it doesn't matter where you are, how big or how small, uh, it can, can be a small, small space of my, uh, you know, like like my house in USA 6, it's only about 20 feet by 
okay, by 25 feet long it can this application apply in um, uh, typical spaces of about uh, 20 feet by 50 feet it also can happen um, in spaces like ours obviously we have advantage of space so we are able to manipulate ourselves along to what we think we want to to create in order to teach people yeah but uh, hopefully, inshallah, after this MCO, some of you may want to really see betul ke Razak cakap ni, uh, ke dia tembe temberang saja. Datanglah to Seeds Malaysia. I'll show you the other pockets which I did not uh, manage to cover in our virtual tour. Uh, even spaces of about six feet by four feet. Yeah, six feet by four feet, six feet by six feet. There's another one kat depan, which is uh, six feet by about uh, six feet by about um, uh, 40 feet long. Yeah. Uh, where we apply this principle, letak aja apa yang we think could be pioneer, uh, pioneer support species, meaning that they can help to regenerate the soil. Because remember, I said the soil memang memang serabut sikit eh, in, in Kelang ni. Eh. Uh, and and when we did that, we saw how much F, uh, how much it helped us in fixing it from the perspective of nitrogen. Uh, how, how does the mulch and the biomass created by these trees are uh, able to create the humus on the top of the soil in order to suppress and it becomes like a, uh, it's functioning like a carbon uh, holder and so on and so forth. Even I have a, we have a plot here, uh, a small one uh, just in front of our office uh, of a pile of sand. Betul, pasir. Yeah. When we first came, uh, I think my late father was doing some renovation dulu ke apa, uh, he left that pile and of course lah, uh, berduri and whatnot. So when we took over, we challenged ourselves. They Diorang kata benda ni boleh jadi, so why don't we apply that principle? When we did, until today, that little pile of about six feet by four feet is a mini eco jungle by itself. And kita tak payah buat apa lagi. I did not have to throw in any more uh, compost. I did not have to throw in a bit of, uh, of, of plants. Uh, cuma we injected some of the things that we make it a bit nicer as it is. But it's it's a small patch of jungle. But it's continuously growing and growing and growing without us humans uh, managing it. Yeah? Uh, except for water lah of course. Kalau, kalau during the hot sun. So I'll show you that bit. Uh, then of course... Everyone who does farming lah, or even gardening, one of the one of the key issues is how do we maintain? Because we talk about, you know, uh, food and we want to practice the food, then we see weeds coming out and so on and so forth. What if this natural way of doing things from uh, learning of na from nature can be ans the answer to maintaining a, a perfect system that allow us to um, uh, uh, to allow the plants as a biodiversity patch function and do that, for example, in our vegetable plots. What if the other plants are doing uh, the managing of the weeds? And if they do, I tak payah jaga, my wife tak payah jaga. Eh? And keluar pun sikit-sikit saja. So, they are mulching uh, using uh, living mulch or, or dry mulch. Kalau siapa yang tak tahu tu, nanti we can explain. Uh, meaning that it is a ground cover, then uh, yang hidup tu macam pegaga dan sebagainya. Then it suppresses the weeds. So, the weeds tak keluar, so I tak payah jaga. Yeah? Um, then how do you maintain your batas uh, in Jeff Lawton's um, other videos and, and other growers or, or farmers, they talk about the edge and the corners. How do you, if you're able to juggle the edge and control the corners, you're able to ease your maintenance. So we did that. Uh, we raised it up with uh, raised beds using whatever material which I can show you later. And we are able to manage that. So what Jeff Lawton is sharing you, with us is for millions and millions of years, the forests have been producing food for us. Kita ni, yelah, as human beings, we always try to strive to, to get more and more and more. Along the way, I personally feel that we went uh, a little bit off tangent by, by trying to be uh, overproductive. Uh, I won't use the word greedy for this context. Uh, but when we do that, we suppress the natural processes. Yeah? And now I think time is ready with the COVID hitting us uh, left up on bottom and we are struggling with ways and means. I really sincerely hope that everyone have a look at what seafoods like Jeff Lawton are doing in uh, the world. Uh, people like um, um, uh, Bill Morrison, the late Bill Morrison, uh, people like um, uh, Miyawaki with the Miyawaki concept of uh, forest and so on and so forth. They've done it. They've done uh, very good systems that work. So it's now a matter of applying to our side. Yeah? So with that, let me uh, go to the main 
Satu orang tu tadi macam teaser lah eh, macam macam starter uh, with Jeff Lawton. Uh, then um, uh, you know uh, Alhamdulillah Jeff Lawton is able to share with us and uh, we pray that he and his uh, family and his uh, peers uh, are able to continue this for the whole entire world yeah? insyaAllah. Uh, now we go to what we have uh, done in our seats Malaysia. It consists of three, four main parts uh, in terms of zoning, uh, which is another aspect of uh, permaculture, but I don't have to go through that zoning. But we have uh, about four zones that we apply these basic principles, even in our uh, edible yard, where we talk about the layers. We understand there are uh, functions of each layers, like the canopy, the understory, the herbaceous, what, what they do they do to each other. Uh, then we talk about the root systems, uh, 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 um, herbs and, and plants and edible ones. Uh, then we talk about the ground covers. Why do they need to cover the ground? Plus the creepers. Dulu I tak paham, why should I have a creeper in, in my garden? So for a long time, I I chose not to until I went to, um, uh, I think it was the Pahang, the I think Kuantan permaculture center. Uh, I went for a trip with one of our good friends and when I saw what it was doing in terms of creating the continuity of nutrients from ground to vertical spaces up in, in that context, I understood and uh, today we have creepers all over the place. Yeah? So I got the caution, kalau you tengok my videos and my my uh, my sharing afterwards, uh, and a lot of people who comes to our farm, uh, I can see 80%, 90% of their faces macam smirking and 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 uh, having that, probably that metal thought. And it, it's common to us uh, already. Eh? Macam, they say, why is it so messy? Kenapa semak sangat you punya, you punya garden ni? Uh, and this is not what I want. And, and for me, uh, jokingly, I will use this as a... <laughs> um, Semak-semak pun actually is a smart way of doing things. Eh? Uh, so dalam semak-semak tu, we got to understand what is smart about it. And it actually functions for us. Yeah? Uh, last but not least, um, if we understand all forests are the layers and uh, and a forest is designed to help the uh, with the layering system to, to benefit, then you take parts and parcel and you apply it in your own context. Yeah? Uh, of course, in some spaces, I try this, I try that because ours is actually an experimental uh, food for us. It's a small one, uh, but we are enjoying the benefits already in, in short of three and a half years, three years kind of thing. Uh, last but not least, I'm not alone in this. Uh, Saat lagi, I'll share you the last section uh, and we see what other people or at, at least um, um, who else are doing what and so, and so on and so forth in Malaysia, in, in our context, so that uh, we can understand uh, where we can do it. Yeah? So let me, uh, let me see, yeah. um, oops, uh, give me two minutes. Now it's missing, kejap ya. Yeah? Uh, for uh, the videos, videos, where did it go now? Where did it go now? Yeah? Uh, huh. Oops, it's missing. One second, technical error. Uh, you want to show the video, Mr. Razak? That video? Uh, yes. Uh, nekejap, ya. I will yeah. show the video. Uh, okay. Okay. Tadi okay. ada. Okay, there it is. Dia, dia, dia hilang right. saya. Yeah. I will show yeah. food for us. Okay. This one, I believe. Okay. Hi. Right. Let's... Okay, ada nampak? Hi. Right. Let's take from what Jeff Lockett shared with her. Yep. Yeah, Can you make I it full screen? Full screen. Right. Full screen. Let's take from what Jeff Lockett shared with us in terms of mimicking a forest and applying that principle of understanding the layerings in a forest to benefit us. Yeah. Uh, here in our three-quarter piece of acre of land, we have applied these principles in a couple of zones. Uh, and in, our, in on my side, I will show you the two zones that we have applied. One is this little food forest. The other one is the kitchen garden that we applied. And the layerings have been working for us tremendously well. And in short of three and a half years, this is what you see. An overview of it, uh, in this little patch of about 5,000 square feet, um, first we planted the canopy trees, which is, if you look at the, folk, uh, the background, right in front of our office uh, at, at the far ground, and the ketapang tree acted as a big brother to protect the, the afternoon sun from getting to the smaller trees. Then we have, in the middle section, 
the ice cream bean trees, this luscious green that has grown tremendously well. We have pruned it twice already, but it's still growing. And we hope uh, to enjoy the benefits of the uh, ice cream bean in, in the next couple of months already. And in the foreground, uh, you'll notice we end up uh, planting this at a later stage, the fruit trees that we wanted, which is, uh, you see the birthday of papaya, you see the blimbing, and you see the peanut butter on the uh, left-hand side. And these are the fruit trees that we grew, and it's, it's healthy because it's able to get the benefit from the other trees that's planted in that zone. From here, you're not able to see the ground covers. Um, uh, however, we planted ubi, uh, clay day, and underground covers like Pagata, and that has supported the ground to make the whole ecosystem work by itself. Uh, and worth mentioning here, in this little patch too, we have uh, about 70 odd plants that we have planted, and it consists of some 30 over indigenous trees that we collected, trying to create our own uh, gene bank. And these are uh, trees that we enjoy, like Putat, Nam Nam, um, uh, Labu Kayu, uh, Ketum Ayam, and Dill and some other vegetables of it mix and match and it has benefited us in the uh, little food forest that we have. So let's go downstairs and we'll show you in detail some of the plants that we have and this is a result of applying those principles that Jeff Lawton shared with us. So Jum. Okay, next we'll take you on the visual tour of our edible yard. It's just behind our kitchen. This is where my wife Intan and my daughter Audia plants, the things that we enjoy eating. So it's a really a mixture of vegetables and, and shrubs that we have. Uh, over on one side, we have the turi, which is growing in between the curry tree and the uh, ground covers and also this patch here. Uh, we have the uh, sayomanes on one side and temupau, which is one of our favorites that we put it together with the other condiments of myangkam. Uh, behind it, a series and a row of uh, citrus plants, which is lemon, uh, limaus, and whatnot. And it's intertwined with the other stuff that we have. And in this patch in front, you'll see the multiple species that we planted together. It has been like this for the last three and a half years. But it is a patch of a raised bed that supports one another in terms of its growth and protection against the insects. Yeah, And... Um, Right behind here is the tamarind plant that we uh, let it grow and that supports in terms of supplying the nitrogen content into the ground and it's really supplying it, hence the undergrowth at the bottom uh, grows very well, including this chinchow hitam and by the side we have the green chinchow, uh, which has been again together with us for the past three and a half years. We've trimmed this about seven times already and we prune it uh, in order to manage. But that's about it in terms of managing the garden that we have behind me. Interesting fruits here. This is Labukayu. Don't you just love the bowling balls? And our ever favorite, Bhutan. Very good ulam and with very good flowers. And this morning we noticed Ta -da! coffee beans. And another bunch there. And let's see what we have here. Okay, I'm picking some chermai. Uh, gooseberry. And chermai looks like we're going to get about two kilos, I think. So, uh, nanti kita cuba buat jeruk lah. Wonderful. Look at that. Alhamdulillah. Now, talking about biodiversity, we have collected some uh, vegetables and food that we enjoy planting and eating. Here, we have Intan's favorite uh, ubi, which is the ubi creating. Uh, it's really a beautiful plant, uh, all creating up like a uh, curly hairs. And all you need to do is uh, take it as ulam or just uh, simple sorted uh, dishes. And it's mixed with the uh, mulberry. Over this side, we have uh, on the ground, which is nanas and combined with uh, coffee beans and we have two little plants of uh, nona and on one side we have the green nona on the other side we have the maroon or red nona and on this tree alone this is the second um, uh, fruiting and we've got easily about 15 that we counted this morning 
and I'm quite sure we're going to harvest a uh, little more in the uh, next uh, couple of weeks. And if I take you through this uh, anyway, uh, you notice how the coffee beans are now flourishing with flowers and some beans over that side. So again, we're going to enjoy our own uh, coffee brewed from these uh, beans uh, that we have. And it's intertwined and mixed with many, many more other species of uh, plants. And here we have the queen, queenie, I believe, uh, which we planted. And uh, we have the dwarf, dwarf bananas on left and right. This one has somewhat uh, overgrew its uh, proportion. Uh, I believe it's, it has to do with the uh, compost that we supply. And a mixture, you have neem, you have bitaras, uh, we have the um, coffee again, and seralas on one side, standing the principles behind the layering and how it functions between itself and allowing it us to benefit from it. Last but not least, bringing you to the heart of the entire Sids Malaysia property is this little space that we produce 1 to 1.5 ton a month of compost. Yes, 1.5 ton out of sheer 18 days using the hot compost method. Okay, obviously you will need something, uh, tools like this, a thermometer to assist you in your production. However, let me show you the outcome of our 18 day compost. Look at that, voila. You know how healthy this is and imagine the millions and millions of microbes in there that will assist your plants that you plant in your own property so let's join together let's learn how to make all these things in support of your properties uh, how we can help you to regenerate your soil and your land in order to produce something like what we have here again uh, if you look at how we started we started small with usa six home a space is very small and we've grown into something of this nature. If we can do it, I'm quite sure you can do it. So we are looking forward to listening to your stories, your journey in helping one another to regenerate food for our loved ones. Okay. Um, how do I, how do I, sorry, jump yeah. How do I get out now? And share it. Uh, yeah, where? Mana? Yeah, yeah. Uh, must be. Okay. Okay. I'll stop here, dulu. Uh, and I've been uh, I've been chatting uh, quite a while now. Uh, I'm quite sure there are lots and lots of uh, queries and questions that people will probably want to ask uh, after they see what Jeff Flotten has to say about food forest and how I we apply it in our own uh, space here. Uh, maybe we can open for uh, Prof. Eh? Uh, maybe ten minutes or so yes. of fifteen minutes. Yes. Uh, questions about. Uh, the, the actual garden and yes. why blah 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 you know uh, then we go okay. into the harvesting and of course like how I started uh, my family we mm. enjoy healthy food so we go into the F and B pula eh? that's that's our our passion so go ahead okay. Prof other question here all right so thank you Chiraza so uh, we are opening the floor for questions and questions uh, you could actually type the questions in the YouTube uh, chat box. So we'll uh, display your question. I'll read it out and uh, hopefully Mr. Raza will uh, can answer it for you. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, for those uh, we, while waiting for the questions to come in uh, for Cik Raza, uh, in the chat box, there is the attendance for the IIUM staff and students. If you would like to have the CTD points and the star points, you could uh, browse through that chat box and then we have actually posted the link for the attendance. Okay, so if you, again, if you have any questions uh, for Encik Raza uh, concerning his own uh, food forest or uh, the 18, I, I saw the last video, this last part of the video, again, 18 hot uh, composting, uh, 18 yes. days hot composting, right? Days. Technique. Yes. So, yeah. so if you have anything, uh, please, you are welcome to ask uh, Mr. Raza any questions. So... Um, uh, while waiting for them, Jet Raza, why did you? I, I saw in your food forest there's a lot of coffee. Coffee trees. Oh, 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 uh, no. Why must it be only coffee? 
<laughs> a very good question. Um, actually, I got to balance that. Eh? Good. Thank you for reminding me. Intan grew in uh, grew in a, a, a estate of uh, cocoa. Uh, so I must go okay. back to that lah. Uh, 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 simple fact that I've got a good friend who runs a farm in in Kara, and he's like a, a brother to me. And one fine day he said, "My trees are growing very well. I'm enjoying my coffee." Uh, Dad, okay. take twenty trees, and then and then voila, I got twenty trees. Eh? So rezeki kata orang uh, tak boleh ditolak. Uh, but uh, I'll take your point. I got to balance it with my other family members punya uh, taste pula. <laughs> so cocoa is next. Thank you. I, 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 I was just asking. I was just asking only, Mr. Uh, Raza. So you had uh, in your in your food forest, you had how many layers was it? How many layers? Um, uh, we. Good question. The layering. Uh, I would say all the layers. Yeah, because um. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, we we've applied that principle. Cuma with a uh, mm-hmm. maximum four years punya exercise, you don't see the canopy trees growing bigger and why not. Uh, I pun tak nak okay. cakap sangat about the canopy trees because technically these okay. are supposed to be the 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 timber trees and etc. Eh? Uh, but I mix oh, and match. Okay. Eh? Uh, so eventually I I already have about 300 over 350 uh, saplings of merbau trees uh, which I got from seedlings and whatnot. I'll plant mm-hmm. one or two in there to see how it goes. Eh? So I have all the levels. Thank you. Okay. Uh, there's a question here by uh, Dr. Razali, I think. Dr. Yes. Razal, uh, sorry if I uh, pronounce you uh, incorrectly. If your soil, Mr. Razal, if your soil yes. is poor, do you any digging? Do you okay? Okay, good question. Uh, yes, uh, as in there are many uh, ways of addressing it. Uh, like I say, I should not be an expert talking about how how one do this kind of things. However, based on our uh, land. Because each land, each uh, environment is slightly different from the other. Eh? Uh, this land, like I say, is uh, water level, terlampau tinggi, etc., etc. We tried many things. Dua tiga bulan, the tree just dies off. Yeah. So our first first uh, successful attempt was when I when we bought uh, about a dozen fruit trees for my late father. Dia nak yang kecil-kecil. Uh, masa tu he was like 82 years old. Saya cakap buat apa lah you nak kecil-kecil beli lah besar. Well, takkan nak tunggu 20 tahun nak benda tu buat. So we bought them quite big trees but we translocate and plant them in uh, two and a half feet uh, planter box uh, as in cacks. Eh? And and by doing so, it allows the fruit uh, trees punya tap root be stronger to yeah. penetrate the water table. And we saw that uh, flourishing. Yeah. So one of the pictures I want to share that lagi is that what we did. So I tak payah do any digging. If you notice, uh, all over the place is now either using tires, using uh, tiles, uh, roof tiles, boxes, cement slabs, uh, zinc sheets, etc., etc. I just lift it up for about six inch for baby plants. They are able to grow strongly with stronger tap roots. So it works for me. Uh, so no digging is something which uh, we practice a lot. Uh, we encourage everybody cuba tak payah dig tengok apa jadi. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, to, thank you, Dr. Ratali. Yeah. Okay, there's also from uh, Khairil Yap. Uh, Encik Raza, could you explain oh. what is the contents of your compost? Okay, thank you for that uh, question, Cyril. Uh, Cyril. Uh, that's a, uh, that's a six-hour answer on how to compost because we do conduct the, the composting but basically the principle is the same uh it's not uh it's, it's not my genius effort to create that uh, it is something which we learn from uh from our masters and whatnot i've got a lot of guru who taught me from Polo farm to jeff to uh ramesh Ken, and the people who are in the community of producing uh compost h and, and so on and so forth these are experts who have done that yeah so when we started the basic principle is the same you can add the components of the uh, the carbon, the, the nitrogen, uh, the green, the brown, and uh, inoculant with water, and you cover, blah, blah, blah. You 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 slow cook it, nah? I call it, slow cook it uh, for 18 days, and voila, you get something which is uh, living soil, which is which is actually uh, humus in the natural context. Eh? So what we are doing is actually uh, helping nature produce humus topsoil for our property which is already with uh, degraded so to explain the contents uh, there are many things we use 
uh, cut grass a lot in our property because uh, our our house is located in a uh, taman which has about 160 houses uh, that cuts their own grass etc etc most of them uh, i think all of them don't use uh, chemicals or of or, or racun to because they cut so we will jadi we will replace the municipal councils to collect uh, all the cut grass around and we produce that with our tech kambing and whatnot yeah? so tech kambing uh, greens uh tech kambing is inoculant uh, greens uh, dry grass and dry leaves uh we add some other secret ingredient like uh no longer secret yeah? uh down below uh, to speed up the whole thing and then we put back macam orang masak kari kan dia kata kalau dah masak the last bit you ambil satu cedok from kari yang semalam ataupun last week you masukkan balik dia jadi sedap uh, we do that too uh, kata macam konon-konon uh, ni lah eh? uh, the, the, the mother in laws uh, tip ambil yang dulu masukkan insyaAllah dia jadi uh, asin so uh, do check the ways of producing your compost based on your area based on apa you ada in your respective areas thank you sir all right so hopefully uh, he, uh he's trying to actually get the secret ingredient you know uh, from oh, okay so it's, <laughs> uh, kfc kfc can secret ingredient those 11 herbs and spices <laughs> yes, yes uh, okay. i'll give it free all right. no problem all right all right okay so hopefully that answers uh uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh question so there's one more i'm not sure about this question but uh, uh from um, honey uh, Hassan, uh. macam mana nak join ya? Yeah? Maybe uh. join your team or join uh, your group? Okay, okay. good question. Uh, thank you, Hani. Kalau this is the Hani Hassan yang selalu dah join, jangan tanya-tanya, buat oh. aja. <laughs> but if you are the, <laughs> okay. you know, not the Hani that always come here, uh, the point is, uh, A, get in touch with Prof, me, uh, or anyone in, for that matter who are practicing uh, natural farming. There are plenty. I will share with you some later on. Yeah? Uh, in KL and all over the place. I've traveled uh, in Malaysia and our our, our neighboring countries uh, since the last uh, whatever uh, dozen of years. And I've seen and I appreciate a lot of farmers who have converted and do natural farming. They have tons and tons and tons of information. So not an issue. Join join the network. Join the, the people who are on the ground that will change the world. Uh, really going to change the world. Be part of this uh, movement uh, and and uh, we will we will literally change ground up uh, for community projects eh? and kalau you belong to communities that really need help uh, uh, get in touch with us we have our own sets of uh, CSR and volunteering networks uh, SIDS Malaysia ada satu uh, other organizations ada satu, uh, banyak you know, and, uh, and, and we are in connection with them so regardless of where you are katalah you dekat Greek Easily, I know three, four people who can help you if you're in Greek. If you're in uh, Sabah, uh, again, you know, Miss, uh, Mr. Lee and whatnot, uh, really good guys over the other side. So join aja sapa sapa dulu and then get connected. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Cik Raza. So then I think uh, Audia uh, posted this. Uh, our 18-day okay. compost is cut grass. Uh, can you... Can you explain yes. this? Uh, okay, boleh, boleh, boleh. Uh, one of the common uh, issues or questions that our participants come, uh, because they see us as uh, what they see, yeah? uh, and their questions are always related, Raza, you tak apalah, you ada kan, uh, ladang kambing. Raza, you tak apalah, you ada duduk rumah yang besar, uh, kompang besar. Raza, you tak apalah, you duduk di Taman Alam Shah, ada 160 pokok, blah, 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 blah. Acknowledge, I agree. But if I were to go to any place, I've seen how they actually do it. Orang asli who came to our program has started their own series of composting in their, their, their kampongs. And if they can do it, um, uh, my point is, you look at your surrounding, apa yang you ada? Kalau you tak ada kambing, orang asli tak ada kambing. They don't, they don't like kambing, they don't take kambing. So, they look for other things. Uh, perut ikan, kalau tak ada ikan laut, ikan darat, eh, ikan, ikan, ikan fresh water eh. Uh, kalau tak ada tu, cari benda-benda lain. Betul tak ada. Cari animals. In my seeds Malaysia, uh, we have a lot of, um, kata orang tu, is quite, quite, uh, 
quite uh, abundance in terms of uh, natural animals yeah? uh, from from birds snakes toads frogs uh, uh, burung uh, jebun um, even even on one stage last year there was a, a pair of um, silver eye uh, monkey so i don't know where they come from and what not but when assuming kalau dia orang attack macam the jebun attack and then my my dogs kill the the jebun then i use it for my inoculant 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 so you can actually use whatever you have in your own context kalau tak ada pun eh katalah raza i live in an apartment in kuala lumpur uh, eh mana ada orang bela ayam itik bla 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 okay good now look at your uh, garbage bin kat luar tu in your apartment tu can you find waste food I'm quite you sure uh, sure you can because Malaysian waste 65% of their food. So guaranteed you are the raw material. You tak ada rumput. You tak kan you tak pernah tengok orang potong rumput tepi jalan. Bangla and who, uh, you know those those foreigners who who actually work very hard to cut the grass. They have to carry the grass and 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 discard the grass uh, so that they can get paid. So they spend money to waste to throw away the waste. If you help to collect for them, they are more than happy to give it to you. So I have a string of uh, of, of uh, grass cutters in Kelang. Ada tiga, dua, uh, tiga. Uh, di Glamery ada du- satu, di Subang ada dua. Uh, and so those those team, you all jangan kacau eh. Itu I punya <laughs> network. <laughs> so start start your own. In your community, sure you boleh dapat. Not an issue, really. Thanks. Okay. Okay, okay Cik Razak. So there, hmm. there's uh, from Cyril Yap says, wow, tanda bagus tiga. Wow, okay. okay. Then Terima kasih. Dua, tiga. Yeah. Okay, tiga. Okay, you also give him three. So uh, Cloud9, from Cloud9, we do layer a garden and it works well. And uh, Thank you. saying that Hi. start with a simple plan and easy to manage. All right. Betul. So there's uh, one good. question uh, from uh, Ms. Hanim. Uh, what do you think about fertilizing? Baja kopi, nampak, uh, what is this, NPK, NPK, yes, uh, and cetera, mm-hmm. which is better mm-hmm. for flowers and fruit plant? Please, Cik Razak. Okay. Uh, another good question, cuma this is a little bit more uh, technical inclined, uh, as in detail. I normally shy away from technical uh, questions or to answer them because they they, they are going into towards kata orang tu being scientific and whatnot. Eh? Uh, I'm not a scientist no i am an expert cuma i learn from nature and ob- observe and i go along that line so to answer this question uh, memang npk nitrogen uh, potassium and whatever is needed in all plants and d- during different levels of their growth they need different quantities and different plants they need different components yeah uh, so but, but for me I'm a designer, uh, so it's in time. Tak payah pening kepala lah. Tengok apa yang jadi dekat pokok yang kita tanam tu. And they will tell us. Uh, some people kata kita ni whisperer ke apa. Tak, nothing to do with whisperer. Uh, yeah, I whisper to the plants. But uh, uh, they they show signs and they say, okay, I'm not growing well. My leaves are green or whatever. So we figure out and check internet. Oh, uh, green to yellow, blah, blah, blah. Kurang magnesium. Carilah magnesium yang natural. Yeah. So what we do is we learn from nature. One good example is bila pokok-pokok berbuah. The easiest is cari pokok pisang, batang pisang, daun pisang, waste pisang, letak aja sebelah tu. Tengok what happens. Yeah? Uh, that that uh, uh, buah nona tu, uh, we've been putting the the daun pisang and the heliconial plants tu, chop aja and drop kat situ. Chop, drop. Hence, dia keluar banyak and dia keluar solid-solid tu. Kalau you tengok uh, gambar tadi. Yeah? So we in in six Malaysia and many natural farmers that 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 practice this uh, macam uh, cloud nine tadi uh, use nature learn nature start small and then buat silap tu tak apa uh, the good thing about natural farming ni it is very 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 forgiving yeah? kalau you you tak pandai pun it will give you a bit more so that you learn kalau you tak nampak lagi dia bagi lagi yeah? uh, tak pandai-pandai lagi dia mati lepas tu you have to decide mati then i change my plan because maybe ni tak kena tukar tak so these are all teachings that you have to pick up from the soil that's giving you the answers for you to go to the, the next step yeah so for fertilizer uh, da 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 baja apa untuk apa uh, internet penuh uh, please check but for me rely on nature rely on natural processes you get that easily yeah thank you anim Okay, thank you, uh, Cik Razak. I think you want to continue because uh, while waiting for questions, uh, 
Yep. Boleh. Uh, Boleh. Alright. Thank you, Prof. Yes, I'll continue. Uh, the last segment ni or the the last bit, second last bit ni, I will share with you um, uh, the the things that we enjoy uh, doing, especially in terms of uh, going into a healthy food uh, concept. Eh? Uh, for us, uh, eating our own produce and eating our own um, uh, uh, healthy food is key because for us, uh, we not only we enjoy it, I think, Alhamdulillah, uh, we were taught when we were young, uh, Intan's family, my family, and the people that I am close with are all um, families who paid attention to a little bit of natural eating uh, habits. So we are blessed with that knowledge and we, we yearn for all this, much like ulam and so on and so forth. So let me share with you uh, one short video um, of, of um, uh, a clip that uh, my daughter Audia prepared for a group of uh, Natural Farming Association members that came over here. It's just a simple one, but uh, simple food and whatnot, but uh, it says a lot because from one uh, gathering like that, we are able to experience uh, what we eat and what it matters to us and how it can benefit other people. Then I'll share with you some of the things that we do. We enjoy making fun uh, with plants and, and food as in decoration and whatnot. Uh, so let's just go into Audia's uh, video. Uh, it's just a short, I think, one. Uh, and then the one ulam and sambal tempoyak, uh, that is everything there, yes, is from the garden. Uh, and then we have uh, tempoyak and ayam masak pandan, so that's chicken uh, wrapped in pandan leaves. The chicken is not from, uh, <laughs> but the pandan leaves are. And then pumpkins from uh, Intran's greenhouse. Uh, and also uh, tempeh and uh, good. Thank you. potatoes for the vegetarians and whatnot. So everything is actually uh, vegetarian except for the chicken. Yeah, and we also have some um, keropo ikan, some fish crackers, and also uh, lime juice from the garden. Yes, uh, this one, uh, this one you have to try. This is um, our our pride and joy. La. This is a lot of uh, ulams that are very rare that uh, you only find in kampongs if you still can find. Yes, so we have uh, What's the name? Tengge Buro. This is Tengge Buro. Uh, this is Mata Ite. Alright, and then we have Kutat, uh, Kedondong. Yeah, and then this is for angle beans, um, intense red, uh, long beans, some jantung pisang, some salad. Yeah, wow, fantastic. So, okay, so what are the And the durian comes from yes. an organic farm oh. that Intan yes. produced it uh, six months ago. We still yeah. have about three barrels left. Uh, <laughs> what kind of durian is that? Uh, this is Musang King, yes, Musang King and, and D24. But organic farm in so Kara. Uh, a little bit of salt and and the rest is all love. <laughs> so enjoy your food. Yeah. Seventy percent love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and um, I will finish off this one uh, with pictures of what we have uh, and a lot of the questions we can you know easily talk about eh? but uh, i'll just go through uh, some of the things that we have uh, enjoyed doing much like on one side this is avocado uh, that we collected from a tree just a single tree in our karak farm that produces quite an abundance of it and we do lots and lots of things in this context i think this is audia's recipe for uh, what was it called uh, guatemala guatemala or something yeah? So these are avocados and the biggest fruit that we had was uh, at 500 grams, yeah? which is pretty big. And uh, we don't use anything except for bags of uh, kambing, uh, take kambing and grass that we cut and then we just put it aside. Uh, this is the gotomile and uh, we dip it with kropo, uh, really delicious. This is um, uh, setoy, orang kedah panggil setoy, orang lain lagi panggil setul, I think. Yeah. Uh, this tree has been there for three and a half years, uh, second season already. So we're hoping to get more fruits this year. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, cakap pasal ulang-ulang banyak lah, except for things like carrot and whatnot. Obviously, we have to get others to, you know, to buy from. Um, uh, this is a manga. This manga comes from our USJ house. We only have one plant 
it produces something like 35 to 50 kilograms of uh, of manga uh, every season and um, we get about three seasons a year so we enjoy doing this and you know it, this was actually done for a wedding of our anak saudara and do, that jero was one of the first things to finish line right? Uh, kerabu telur, when you have telur masin, it's easy to do. Uh, decorations, uh, ulam-ulam again. Uh, greetings, when uh, dah tak tahu apa nak buat, instead of buying greeting cards, ambil aja something, shoot and then wish our friends uh, Merry Christmas in this context. Uh, pisang yang kita tak tahu, uh, belah sikit-sikit, rasa sedap tak sedap and kalau betul tak sedap, bakar aja and add some sugar or add some salt or pepper that's it you know uh, and and it's it's very nutritious uh, labu uh, for for potpourri uh, uh, of course this this picture i threw in nak melelehkan air liur this was uh, our favorite dulu uh, buat kambing golek uh, from our our grass fed uh, farm uh, air telang when we mix with uh, a bit lemon they, they turn into purple uh, and so on so forth, uh, the, the fruits, we go seasonal, eh? we don't go like kalau sekarang tak ada rambutan, macam mana nak pergi cari rambutan eh? uh, similarly, kalau tak ada durian, takkan nak pergi cari durian bom dekat kawan kita dekat Karak tu, boleh, boleh lah, tapi let's go with the season because that's what it is meant for eh? uh, ginger, this is one of uh, my favourite too, uh, Audia makes a lot of uh, really good ginger and uh, and and my favorite selalu kalau dia buat banyak-banyak ni a few bottles goes to me already man <laughs> uh, this is another interesting one we collected it from a golf course can you imagine golf course has this pokok uh, seralat so when we saw it uh, we went with uh, two friends uh, Haji Musyir and, and Hisham and we saw this thing and we were asking why would you plant fruit trees like this they kata oh actually nak halau monyet what, how do you halau monyet with fruit trees? Dia kata bulu-bulu tu Kalau monyet datang makan Dia tobat tak nak gigit lagi Because benda tu melekat kat dalam mulut dia Dia lari uh, uh, ni lintang bukang So we collected it and we plant in our property I've not tasted it We hope next year they start fruiting But surrealite is one good way of protecting uh, And managing wildlife like monkeys kapa From your property yeah? Uh, instead of killing them, shooting them, like uh, I don't want to say anymore, okay? <laughs> Can't jadi political. Uh, but instead of uh, going head to head with animals in in so called they call it conflict, I don't see it as conflict. Yeah, uh, we are in control. We should look for options that can help one another. So if this option works for the monkeys, be it lah. So kalau dia tak cukup makanan, you tanam lah makanan makanan lain untuk dia orang in their space. Yeah, uh, that's how Sri looks like. Looks very delicious. Tapi I've I've not eaten it yet. Uh, Marbury is is easy lah. Eh? You tanam one one labu, good source of starch and protein and 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 sugar. Uh, it becomes everything. Uh, temu pau and a combination. This is also ulam decoration. We are in the design uh, uh, ni organization. We design events and deco. Uh, so this is part and parcel. Why can't de your deco comes with from your own farm, which you can do easily. Eh? Uh, this is in, uh, Audias uh, also, I can't remember what it's called, but benda tu sedap lah eh. Dia, dia masukkan paste tu dalam uh, dalam tomato tu and and you take the whole thing with a little bit of uh, gill to go along with it. Uh, so ulam-ulam memang, kat, kat Sis Malaysia ni memang uh, kata orang tu meleleh lah kalau orang datang and selalunya tanya itu dulu eh. Macam uwi, uh, yam and so on so forth eh. Uh, this is uh, peanut butter, yeah, peanut butter. This is, at one time, three, four fruits with fruit. This is what you take. This is uh, two types of banana, terong, uh, and and uh, this is uh, again peanut butter. I, uh, pokok telang ni, eh, bunga telang. Multiple use. You boleh makan, you boleh minum, you boleh uh, buat uh, ice cream. Ini Audia buat uh, untuk uh, ice cream Malaysia kalau you tengok kat belakang tu, yang dalam plastik tu, ice cream Malaysia, she did something like 700 ke 800 for her own wedding dulu. So, the only thing I didn't like was the plastic lah. In the end, kita dah tak nak buat. Uh, we only do it for for our visitors here. Uh, but the point is, instead of beli ice cream Malaysia kat mana-mana or beli ice cream uh, whatever brand, you can actually make from your own garden. Okay. Uh, this one was collected from my arwah nenek di rumah. Uh, this one is the terung, terung masam, asam, yes, terung Sarawak, some call it. Uh, you can do things like this. Yeah? Uh, whatever, whatever pisang, jadi tak jadi, tak jadi, potong-potong, 
goreng with curry dah cukup ya. Uh, uh, that one sukun. Uh, this one ui. Ui is this ugly looking thing. Uh, ugly as in it looks like Yoda and you know uh, and what not. But uh, you make a lot of good stuff. And then macam mangga ni kalau lebih, buatlah cak ni. And then you can sell. You can actually make uh, ni, ni idea punya when when the time comes banyak-banyak ni, uh, kita buatlah. Uh, benda yang tak masak, dah jatuh. Whatever. Eh? Uh, macam betik ni. Jadikan ulam and so on so forth. There's one or two I nak tunjuk. Okay. Uh, this one. Kalau tak cukup apa-apa, ambil apa yang ada, campur dengan apa yang you ada dalam fridge, dah cukup. Jadi uh, uh, meal for two. Uh, tempe. Instead of daging, buat tempe biasa. Eh? Uh, Miang cup. And, yeah, I want to show you. Okay, this one. Okay. Kalau you have excess of anything, for example in this case lemon, limau ke apa, katalah tiba-tiba abundance. We have like like six, eight trees of of, uh, of uh, citrus in our context. Eh? Uh, then uh, uh, in time we'll put it, uh, blend it and make it into ice cube and simpan dalam freezer. Whenever you want to drink, you just top it in and that's your your content of uh, nutrient that you get out of which. So you can preserve and lengthen the usage of this. Eh? Tempe, I last kali uh, ground covers eh? ground covers banyak cari ground covers yang you boleh makan ubi kledek kledek uh, ini and so on so forth and that's once you get into this you will notice that everything works macam you kena ada ayam itik sikit sikit and what not and you will plan um, uh, according to the so called functions eh? uh, that's one thing that we have been uh, learning and planting uh, learning as in uh, to perfect it uh, is the combination planting uh, here we plant with um, for example kacang panjang we plant dua with tomato and chili Uh, ka tanam kacang panjang tu dulu after two weeks tanam tomato chili kacang panjang tu will not only become big brothers to protect the heat of the afternoon sun for the chili and tomato because they are a little bit more uh, fragile uh, but also give the nutrients in terms of the nitrogen fixing yeah? so that's a good combination when you do that everything goes and uh, when an insect comes to that patch or combination they go for what? Guess. They go for the kacang because the kacang is is a bit more sweeter. So when they do that, your chili and your tomatoes are technically safe. So tak payah spray. So if you do that components, it will help you manage your farm. So combination planting is very key. Uh, you notice tadi kita tanam ananas with uh, with with, with uh, mulberry and so on so forth. That scale, uh, kale is one of the super food. Eh? Uh, Malinjo. Ni pokok ni malinjo. Uh, some people call it uh, balinja. Uh, yang keropok malinjo ni. Uh, really delicious. Yeah? Masak kari ke, goreng ke, and daun dia pun ni memang sedap dimakan lah. Yeah? Put, put, uh, put, uh, ni, and so on so forth. Nah, ni. Ambil aja apa-apa, jantung pisang. Cincang-cincang jadi jadi kerabu and you letak. Uh, I cakap senang because bukan saya yang buat ni, yeah? my wife and <laughs> Audi yang buat tapi makan <laughs> memang lah kan, meleleh hari tu kata orang tu lah. Uh, last but not least, other functions because trees work in biodiversity, it has its own function. Daun mempalas ni, we polish our brassware before raya, uh, this year tak lah eh, tak pasal tak orang tak datang. Uh, we brass, we use it, tak payah pakai brassu, tak payah apa, pakai benda ni sometimes pakai brassu for difficult spots. But this is like sandpaper that people uh, of the traditional times uh, polish their wood and whatnot. Yeah? Sukun and other eyes. Yeah? So um, I hope I've shared enough. I don't want to, to say any more. Uh, to entice you to look at options to jump into the bandwagon of natural farming and start small. Uh, I like the comments of, uh, you know, start small, whatever you like. And then you grow big because that's how we did it. You know? uh, we start small uh, and then eventually because of our passion and uh, the need to look at how we can produce and teach others, that's how we became Sits Malaysia in this 38,000 square feet. Don't take my 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 reference because selalu, biasalah, eh, orang datang to my coming farm after fifth year. Wah, Razak, you ni bagus lah. Tempat besar, blah, blah, blah. But they forget to see the first three years. I was struggling, crying, tak cukup duit and so on so forth. Sama juga in 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 Seeds Malaysia ni. Uh, we were struggling like nobody's business because we didn't know. 
tanah rumput pun mutated. Can you imagine? Uh, sampai expert from Kampung Bidan tu kata, Raza apalah ikut orang di designer. Sampai mutated the grass. You know? So if we can do it, you can do it. We want to listen to your stories. So um, now uh, let's end this and and talk questions. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Encik Raza. Wow. Very interesting. I, I could not, I think uh, if people come to your place, dia memang terliyo lah tengok tu semua yang I think your family did you know, those arrangements of the food. Kan? Wow. Well, it's, it's, it's amazing. Amazing lah. Amazing. We, I think thank we could not have uh, thought about it. Kan? Thank so, you. Thank you. For you guys who would like to write, uh, lo- love those, you know, pictures, you could come to the place after, of course, after PKP lah kan? After yes, PKP is over, yeah. they, they yeah. welcome people, right? I think uh, before yeah. COVID, you had received a lot of uh, visitors, right? Uh, am, am, yes. Am, am, am I correct? That's right. Yeah, we we, we were having uh, lots of programs lined up, but because mm. of the COVID, we had to streamline and we had to only accept uh, the ones that really need of help, like Kampung Wang Asli, Wang Kampung yang, yang need mm. our help, we, we took them in uh, and we put aside uh, the ones yang macam urban cities and whatnot. Lah. Sempat lah buat uh, a few hundred people hari tu, eh? sempat Alhamdulillah. Hmm. Tapi sekarang dah tak boleh lah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, Cik Razak, you ready for questions here? There's a lot of questions for yes. you. Should go ahead. Okay, okay. because uh, our session uh, ends, in, ends in at, at 10 to 11.30, so we have, still have mm. time. So, hmm. Siri Hap is boleh. asking you another, yep, asking you okay. another question. Uh, do you have Good. any website that explain and educate us what plant supply, what nutrient? Please, Elazar. Good. Yes, uh, I wanted to keep this to the last. Uh, start where it is. Okay. Uh, start with me, start with uh, Professor uh, uh, R.M. Anwar, uh, because INSAF have their own garden in their, their building. Uh, start with people who you know within your own community. Kalau tidak, I believe Intan will supply you some uh, leads of the people in the community. Uh, for example, uh, I'm not sure where Cyril lives. Katalah, in Selangor, easily 20, 30 people from Bangsa, KKB Garden to to uh, uh, urban gardens in, in communities of uh, rumah, taman dan sebagainya to small farms uh, dekat nook and corners. AU ada, Gomba ada, uh, Kepong ada and, and in KL ni memang berlambak. Eh? berlambak. Start connecting to one another. Eh? Kalau you tak, kalau you susah sangat, you just keep in natural farming uh, farmers uh, organization initiatives in KL wherever you live memang banyak eh memang banyak eh? so start there okay thank you thank you Cik Razak. another question from Ash uh, DG betul Tia is it I basuh basuhan ikan baik untuk yes. tanaman sebab selalu yes. tengok orang-orang tua siram air basuhan ikan pada tanaman berskali berskala kecil macam cili dan kesum sila Cik Razak Betul. The answer is absolutely yes. Uh, I used to hate this when I was young. Yeah? Uh, when, whenever my uh, mom and the sisters tanam-tanam ni, this part I tak suka and I selalu comment that apalah buat benda-benda busuk ni. That was when I was young. Now, it doesn't matter lah. I buat juga. Tutup hidung ni lah. Buat. And, and and it helps with the, the, the enzymes and the microbes in order to facilitate the, the biomicrobiome, um, the microbial activities within that space. And plants need that. So this is one way of zero waste uh, methods that we practice in in uh, seeds Malaysia. Every time kita ada uh, program, we use this a lot. So yes, buat aja. Eh, jangan buang dalam rumukang because you rugi. Kalau you pakai, you untung. Eh? Thank you, Ash. I take it as Ash. Eh? Yeah, Ash, I think so. Okay, so uh, then uh, from Tommy Te. Uh, can we visit your avocado farm in Karak, please? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, this, 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 I got to qualify. Uh, I don't have an avocado farm. It's only one tree which is there for the last 10 years. Uh, for 7 years, tak berbuah. Uh, banyaklah cerita kena buat ni, kena buat tu, kena tunggu ulat korek lah. And finally, it, 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 uh, it, it uh, blossom into lots of uh, food. Uh, we've been fighting with, of course, the the, uh, the visitors that comes in and enjoy the food there. At one stage, they are about nine, uh, 90%, they think they can 10%. Uh, 
Only because saya cakap tinggalkan sikit. So my doa tu dia bagi, makbulkan, dia tinggalkan 10%. Tapi I tengok kenapa sikit? Mungkin dia kata you tak cakap berapa banyak. So now, now I kena pergi jaga that tu. So boleh kalau nak visit the farm, uh, it's not an avocado farm, it's only one tree eh. I get about, let me see, the last the last season I get about 120 fruits, I think. Yeah. Tapi boleh, good vibes. Uh, we've heard a lot of good vibes uh, from good vibes. So willing to to meet up one another. Thanks, Tommy. Alright. So, wow. So, uh, Cik Razak, is it difficult to, you know, uh, jaga avocado tree? Uh, to, okay. You know? uh, a common question. Eh? Um, uh, 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 I'll try to answer it based on our own experience. Eh? It took us like okay. seven years from from seed to the first set of fruits eh dia uh, i guess dia mera- dia, dia, dia dia the ag- the agony of waiting that you oh, savor okay. tu is, is the torture eh mental torture eh <laughs> uh, <laughs> because it comes from the seed eh uh, because we we got from the seed from surabaya ke apa bla 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 and then it was okay, okay, okay. Eh? Okay. And, and bila dengar banyak cerita lah kena tunggu ulat ni lah itulah season lah 7 tahun 8 tahun so the merana um, opinion tu is always something which me- Uh, perit sikit lah ya. Eh. Tapi okay. technically we left it as it is. So okay. nature has provided. Alhamdulillah. 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 Okay. Okay. So thank you Cik Razak. Uh, from uh, Mr. Zulfikar Aziz. Learn new things today. Layer garden suitable for our weather. Thanks to organizing uh, Mr. Razak. So, thank so you. Ma, thank from, you. Uh, Prof. Azura. Prof. Azura. Nice yes. food for us. <laughs> yeah. Prof. is also here. Uh, hmm. From uh, Miss Ching Ching uh, Lee, uh, she is a brilliant cook. Love her food. Oh. I think. Uh, talking yeah, about my wife and my daughter. Yes. Yes. Thank exactly, you. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, Ching exactly. Ching is a good writer. Uh, wow. Budding writer okay. are very good. She started writing wow. about uh, about green stuff the last few months, and she started with okay. Kebun Kebun Bangsa when she became a volunteer. Uh, go right. to her, her her blog. Uh, she, she's passionate about her writing. Very good. I like. I like. Thank you, Ching Ching, for joining. Nice. Nice. Wow. Okay. Okay, so from Seeds Malaysia as well, of course, to join an FAM group, do check oh, yes. our uh, Seeds Malaysia's Facebook, right? Yes, please and do, and uh, look in NFAM, uh, get to one of our 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 uh, AJKs, and they'll pass you the forms. All right, okay, mm-hmm. so NFAM, find it in yes. Facebook, okay. Yes. So from T. Boon Lee, simply awesome kudos to you, Encik oh. look forward to meet up one day. Uh, fine day after MCO, right? Same, same so, as they say. Uh, yep, Dr. Clara, uh, good vibes. Yes. Yep, Tommy Te, thank you, sir. You're most welcome. And, uh, yep, and there's one question from uh, uh, Mr. Norhan Rahim. How to produce and apply oh. compost at school? Okay, right. this question I like. Over yeah. to you. <laughs> Ha, kalau orang tanya pasal kompos ni, ay, semangat sikit lah eh. Uh, kata orang tu meleleh hari tu. Okay. <laughs> uh, besides the food eh. Uh, why? Because we found the 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 key ingredient to Seeds Malaysia and what we've been doing is actually creating the living soil that uh, that we put it back. So, when we saw the the outcome, it is not Uh, uh, a brainer to appreciate the process. Uh, then when you understand that it doesn't take much effort, yeah, really. Uh, some people kata, I tak larat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have a back pain. I, I I fall down from the tree a couple months ago and and crack my bones, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so most of the time, uh, the compost is done by uh, Intan, my wife, and Audia. And if they can do 1.5 ton a month, Uh, you should look at how you can replicate that because this dia kalau you faham the the cooking of it this jadi senang uh, so for schools is always welcome we have many programs that we have done with schools before uh, we encourage that kalau uh, depending on where your school is kalau kita tak boleh there are many other players like uh, just for saying our our friend from KKB and he runs a, a beautiful amazing uh, teaching program and doing compost in Kuala Lumpur from waste food saja eh? waste food uh, and they they sell the, the the produce out of community service driven projects so we people like us can teach kalau you dekat 
kata layu dekat uh, dekat Simpang Pelangai then then our 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 collaborator in and beneficiary in Simpang Pelangai can actually teach kalau you dekat Slim River or dekat dekat Sungai Petani uh, you know uh, Surukam Farm can actually teach because these people are practicing it so banyak for schools no problem insyaallah I think this is a teacher actually, Cik Gunorhan. I, I think I know oh, the, okay. the teacher. She, she's from Melaka. Melaka. Melaka, you don't oh, have Melaka. Any, anyone from Melaka? Banyak. Uh, Mushe is from Melaka. Haji Mushe. They're KKK. Kambing, Kelulut oh. and and, uh, and 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 Kelulut and Kelapa. Huh? And Klapa. also do... Okay. Oh, that's KKK, eh? Yeah, the triple K, eh? Uh, doing very oh, well okay. because we understood the functionality of each to benefit one another, eh? And the, the composting that he did is brilliant over there because it's cocoa and blah, 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 eh? and take kambing. So, excellent. Yeah? In Melaka, senang. Hmm. Okay, Melaka ada. Okay, Cikgu. So, yeah, Allah, hmm. I think, uh, Inshallah. communicate later. All right. Yes. Uh, hmm. From uh, Ching Ching Li again, she gave you a heart symbol here. Apa kena bagi? You're replying. Okay. So, and then, uh, ah, from Jackson. Uh, ah. Jackson Ho. Well done, my good friends, uh, partner in combating uh, climate change, uh, Jackson from Bentong, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, thank you, Jack, uh, Jackson, a uh, good friend of ours. Yeah. And these yeah. are also organizations like they, they run uh, PPR, uh, PP, PPK, sorry, eh? uh, Persatuan Penggerak Hijau, PPH, sorry. Okay. Yes. And yes. Uh, the mission is to help one another in climate change uh, with many things, including planting of one million trees in Bentong. So join us. That's another level. Yep. Thank you, Jackson. Thank, thank you, Mr. Jackson. So then, uh, from uh, Mr. Nizam Osman, elbow bump. Okay. okay. Elbow bump. Okay, macam <laughs> ni. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> macam tu eh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Terima kasih from Mr. Nizam. And of course, uh, Seeds Malaysia, Audi is doing uh, her job very well here. Connect with us at our FB and Instagram, Seeds Malaysia yes. or via email. Yeah, yes. you can, of course, uh, anytime email Seeds Malaysia. I think uh, this is yeah. at uh, Cik Razan, right? Seeds.msiamalaysia at gmail.com. Yes, okay? that's right. Our, so you uh, can get our, Facebook prof is, yeah. our Facebook is more pictorial, so you get a lot of info. Uh, but like I say, mm. how I always say, I'm not the expert in everything and anything. So we belong to a group of people. Uh, kalau I tak boleh, I, I will lead you all to someone else yang boleh. Uh, banyak, banyak. Langkawi yeah. ada, Sabah, yeah. Sarawak ada, of semua course. ada. Of course, of course. You're not alone here, right? You have a vast yes. uh, network yes. here in all over yes. Malaysia which could yes. help uh, other people, right? Who are actually yes. really yes. interested in this, kan? You have yes. the Very national good. resources everywhere, right? So, Very. so uh, Ching Ching Li also is saying that uh, will this video be available later? Yes, it will. It's recorded and then you can browse it anytime in YouTube. It's in our mm -hmm. actually channel, YouTube channel, Office of Industry Link. You can watch mm -hmm. it later uh, at any mm -hmm. time. So, Betul. Priscilla Ong, thank you Cik Razak, looking to learn more. Uh, thank you, Ong Bun Tan, good session. Oh. Uh, Razak, Dr. Yes, Sarah, he's the president. Thanks, uh, uh, he's that are uh -huh. all uh, natural farming association members so mr dr tan is the oh, president yes, yeah ah. okay. so there you go uh, yeah. this one all right okay and then uh, of course uh, yes natural farming association supports community and home gardening from hong Wong tan yes of course all right so i uh, and uh, ching ching says thank you appreciate it yeah uh, uh, you're welcome so i think uh, we are uh, at the end of the session Cik Raza. If you have okay. any last words uh, before we finish, we wrap up. Okay. Please. Now that the stress is over, uh, berapa orang join kita? <laughs> uh, it's it, it, it increases. You know, uh, one time was a 90. I can give you the views later. Okay, uh, bagus. Okay. Mm -hmm. The more the merrier. So, any, uh, yep. For last words, I guess, uh, first and foremost, thank you to Prof and INSAF and IIUM uh, for allowing this space for us to, people like me and, and uh, many more, uh, to share some bits and pieces of our journey. Uh, obviously, we can't share everything because for us, it took us like uh, 17 years. Uh, but at least uh, if we share some bits and pieces of yang seronok serono, more people will join. Uh, dalam seronok serono tu memang banyak kepahitan. Eh? Uh, eh? So, so, you makan benda ni pahit and whatnot. So, you need to go through that motion. But uh, the point yeah. is, uh, COVID ni has shown us that we really need to address uh, how we live. 
ya yeah? uh, be it being sustainable or not be it uh, you know for yourself or your your loved ones and so on so forth we need to take and and um, uh, take measures and change kalau tak banyak pun sedikit lah and gardening is one of the best ways ya yeah? Uh, bukan nak beriak rasa riak ke tidak uh, but when covid hit us we were we were uh, we were having headaches about not having income eh, for the last one and a half years ni memang bingung lah eh, for businessmen like us tapi we alhamdulillah we were feeling at ease at least with the things that we are able to do in our farm eh. uh, jangan nak cakap besar uh, farm Farm-farm kecil pun, my my anak saudara what not, ada farm yang tepi rumah tu kecil-kecil, beberapa pasu pun, they are will they are able to be in a mode of being in the now and having that grounded feeling. So, uh, for me, I can't say enough to look at getting connected with nature via through gardening uh, and your own food. Uh, and then you start with yourself and then you can grow. So, that my last parting word is, Tanam aja, jom, have fun. Uh, and then kita nangis and gembira sama-sama. Yes, nangis dan gembira sama-sama. Yes, eh. uh, yes. Uh, jangan nasi gembira aja. Uh, itulah thank kan. You, so, yeah. of course, uh, that's uh, thank you uh, Cik Raza for that. Uh, there's another comment here from Miss uh, Fatima. Mat Anwar, thank mm-hmm. you. Looking forward to learn more. Uh, learning more too. Okay. So, thank you. All right. So, uh, yes. thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Uh, yes, Hong Boon also says that yes, we need network. We network to help, of course. Yes, that's, we need all the networks. Uh, very no, noble yeah. reason, a noble purpose, uh, right? Yes, from, it, uh, from it the takes network. one and everyone yes. to change the world. Yes. Yes, exactly. So thank you very much uh, to everyone who has actually participated and uh, watched, listened in uh, our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more information in the future. Mm-hmm. So this uh, mm-hmm. session was brought by Office of Industrial Link, IIUM, Integrated and Sustainable Agriculture Farming, INSAF mm-hmm. Research Group and Management Service Division, MST, IIUM. So thank you very much, Raza. Hopefully that we could see you again uh, in other sessions in the future. Yes, inshallah. Uh, really looking forward to more because this is just the beginning. There's so much more yep. to share. Uh, a little bit of advertisement. My next one will be on the 16th of uh, next one. Uh, it will be okay. on uh, looking from the financial aspect. How do SME, SMIs uh, play a part in, in greening ourselves yeah? uh, with MIDF and whatnot. Yeah? So, inshallah, uh, join us for that. That one, a bit serious. I just throw the things so that they can figure out how to how to look at the dollars and cents. Yeah? I'm not a financial guy. Right. So, let's join me. All right. All right. So, okay. So, another message here. I, I cannot actually not display it, but then... Uh, Tarhui Wong, excellent presentation, Raza. Thanks for t- oh. uh, taking time to share. Have a nice day, Raza, and organize. Thank you, Tarhui. Right. Thank you, Wong. So with that, I think uh, we end the session. By Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, stay safe. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, stay safe, everyone.